All right. Yes, I'm being lazy. I don't feel like putting on the shirt and doing this certain thing with it that makes it so it looks like I am a floating head. So, Agent of Doubt made a video in regards to a Jacqueline Glenn. He's made several videos about her already. And in the beginning of his video, he talks about, you know, oh, beating a dead horse, but uh, still some things need to be discussed. And I agree, these things need to be discussed. But I think he's went a little too far. And I'm going to show you some clips of where I think he's went too far, and I'm going to tell you exactly why I think he's went too far. So, um, I don't want to make this a really long video, so I'm not including his entire video. I will leave a link to his video in the description bar. But here are some of the clips. In order to avoid the accusation of plagiarism, if you lift more than seven words in a row from a source, you need to put quotations on it, and you put a little annotation number or an asterisk you know, at the end. No. No. You need to just state that you're quoting someone and put a link to what you're quoting or state what it is you're quoting from. Put an annotation on there and, and then put an asterisk. No, no, fuck that formal shit, dude. Fuck that formal shit. YouTube is not a fucking term paper. Okay? It is not a term paper. It is not an academic journal. You know, are you going to tell people, we need to write in outline format? No. No. Okay, when I was in college, I obsessed about all that shit. I was taking a number of legal classes. I was taking a number of formal writing classes. I was taking office classes. I was learning about business language. I knew all the formats left and right. Now a lot of those formats have been changed. The standards have changed. You know, so the things that I remember, the things that I learned aren't exactly valid anymore. But, you know, I learned this shit. I also learned that a lot of this shit, you know, since I was in college, I learned that a lot of this shit is just designed to make it more difficult to get to the point of what you're saying. Formalities are shit. Formalities are shit. As long as someone understands what you're saying, and you're trying to, to really get across your point, and people know you're quoting from someone, and you give a reasonable amount of information so they can find the quote for themselves. Who fucking cares about this formal bullshit? Seriously. Okay? And in some of the arguments that, we, that you and I had in text, you're saying, well, can't she, you know, work... Can't she work more towards being more academic? And I'm like, academic? You mean, you know, like the academic articles that say that, that masculinity is toxic, that black people can't be racist, that speaking negatively towards an argument that a feminist is making, if you're even slightly mean-spirited and when you say it, that uh, it's online violence, that sort of shit, that sort of academic stuff, when people talk that shit, I don't fucking care how much they've studied this or that. I don't fucking care. When it comes to science, yes, science. Be as academic as you want about science. But most of this shit is talking about opinions of things. Trying to get people to look at different elements socially about things. And you don't do that through a bunch of fucking formality. You know, formality is why a lot of you know, teachers will try to be all formal about shit, and that's why kids don't learn. That's why teenagers don't learn. That's why people in high school don't learn. 
one of the big reasons, not the reason, but it's one of the big reasons. Talk with people like people. We're not a bunch of fucking textbooks. YouTube is not an academic journal. It's not a term paper. People shouldn't have to be all goddamn formal about everything. What you need to do is you annotate, let's see, on your, your guys' perspective, it'd be on this side. You annotate at the end of the sentence, and then in at the bottom of the page in the annotations or in the references at the end of your work, you need to cite the page number where you got it. You need to, you know, say what step it was, what video it was, what minute, whatever. Um, and if, you know, quotation marks won't work, you can do block quotation, or you can put it up on the screen if you're a YouTuber. No, you don't need to do formal quotation marks in the annotations. Okay? As long as you're going like this, I'm quoting the person now, they said, and then you go on and describe what they said. It's especially helpful if you change your voice just a little bit so you don't sound like your normal speaking voice, okay? That's perfectly acceptable. And then you put the link down below to where it is, or you describe what it is so it is easy for someone to find. But if you don't do those things and you just put at the end of your work, you know, click here and, and go through all of this and try to find what words I copied. No, that is not proper citation. If we're talking about some article that's really, really long, I could agree with the last part you say there. Okay, if the article is really, really long. But if it's just like a couple pages or just one page, or the information you want is there right away, no, sorry, you don't need to go into all that, that kind of detail. You don't. You know, if someone is, is, is that lazy that they, you know, that the person wanting to know where it was quoted from uh, is that lazy where they can't just scroll down just a little bit to find this information or, you know, use the find option on, on, on your web browser, you know, uh, 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 command F or control F and type in a couple of the words and there it is. That's not very hard. Now you can say, well, it's not very hard for the person to, 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 to do, you know, it's, it, it, you can't consider it plagiarism just because they made it, it's some, the person wanting to find out the information of where they got it isn't made super easy. That's not plagiarism. It's, it makes it harder for them, but you know, don't push this formal stuff, man. And you can claim, well, it's not really formal stuff, it's just, you know, proper citation. Okay, proper stuff. It's not being proper. Oh my, we need to be proper. Let me have my tea and crumpets. You know, I just, you know, I just, I'm not down. You know? Now, personally, I like to put the quote on the screen. That's my method. And you mentioned that as a method. Okay, I like doing that method personally. But I'm not going to hold it against someone else who doesn't do that. As long as they've, they've said, they, they've made it clear when they're quoting somebody, and they have a reference at the bottom, and someone really, really wants to know more about it, they've given the reference, Control F or Command F works, you know, give me a break. You know? I obviously am not for the, these things that Jacqueline Glenn has done, okay? I'm not defending her, <laughs> you know? She hasn't done any of these standards that any of us are talking about, okay? <laughs> she has blatantly plagiarized people, okay? But I just think you're taking it a little far. That's my personal opinion.